All right, so for some coloring tips for you guys, please make sure, number one, you are taking your time. You wanna spend your time on this. When you're coloring, you don't wanna go super fast all the time like this. You're gonna get marks that don't look really nice. You take your time, okay? And also, when it comes to coloring, you wanna make sure you are uh, using multiple directions. So not just going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. You can turn your paper and go side to side, side to side. This fills all those little different holes in, you know, and uh, then it makes it look a lot more neat. You can go diagonal. So changing, changing directions really helps. Um, and um, also blending, thinking about blending your colors. It's gonna look a lot more exciting if you decide to add other colors with your work. So you can create so many more colors. If you add all the colors you have and then add them together, you get twice the amount of colors, okay? You can combine those colors together, making some really awesome ones. Thinking about, um, so multiple directions, adding, mixing colors, and then also thinking about really dark values and adding light values in. Okay, so seeing how this is here. If we look in my example, and I could still add more to this where it's darker to lighter on the mermaid. See how dark it is with the marker I added and then I got a little bit lighter further down. If I wanted to, I could make this part even darker and then gradually have it go lighter. It kind of makes her look more 3D that way. So it's dark, medium, and then I can even take my eraser and very carefully erase a little bit so there's a highlight, okay? So that's something you could do for coloring. Um, you can color in with marker or color pencil. Um, here, I think I still need to go side to side with my coloring because you can see all those lines and it's not as nice. I did mix colors here, some purples and pinks together, so it looks extra cool. Um, and thinking about adding some texture lines, this marker kind of shows the direction of the road. Notice how it gets smaller in the distance, which is in the background. When it gets closer up, these uh, stripes in the road, these little dash lines, get larger up here. The coral also is larger up close, and it gradually gets smaller toward the distance, okay? So you want to think about those things for good craftsmanship. Um, you know, I thought about having you guys use Sharpie with this. I would challenge you not to use Sharpie. Um, if you do have a Sharpie, you can use it on the main middle part here, but the reason why I use a Sharpie on the mermaid, but then uh-oh, I don't know if you can tell, but there's some lines here that bled through. This paper is not crazy thick, so it'll bleed through if you're not careful. Um, well, even if you are careful, it can bleed through. So I wouldn't use Sharpie on the flaps, on the middle or the foreground, but if you want to on the background use Sharpie, that's fine. Okay, remember background? middle ground, foreground. Okay, I hope you have a lot of fun with this. I had so much fun making it, and I'm so excited to see what you come up with on Monday when I get back. All right, thanks.